What's up guys? Welcome back to Halfman Aftech. So I'm not gonna waste your time cause we have bigger things to worry about right now. Let's quickly get right into the video. If you are on iOS 14 beta, be it 14.2 beta 4 or any version of iOS 14, and you are using you know, a device that is supported on iOS 14, be it the first generation SE or the iPhone 6S, all the way to the iPhone 12 and you have iOS 14.2 uh, which I'm using here beta 4 there's something that we have in common so every time you unlock your device there's this bug that keeps popping up and it says a new iOS update is now available please update from the iOS 14 beta this is showing up almost all the time for me and if I switch off my device and power it back on it's still showing up if I lock my screen like this and then unlock it again you see that it's still showing up so this bug is becoming more and more annoying and in this video i'm going to be showing you five methods that you can use to try and overcome this and what you can do if this is happening to your device on ios 14. just in case you are curious if we go to settings and then go to general you can see that i have the ios 14 beta profile so yes the version that i have on this device if we go to the about this iphone on section you can see that it's ios 14.2 and i have also ios 14.2 on most of these devices but for the purposes of this video i'm going to be showing you just like the iphone 6s which isn't an all screen device it has a home button and also an iphone that has you know almost all screen besides the notch of course because there seems to be you know different settings and these devices are behaving differently so i went to the moon and back just to find five methods that you can use and i can guarantee you that definitely one of them are going to work for you so a sub would cheer me up now the first method that you want to try go into your devices settings and then scroll down to general click general and then scroll down to where it says date and time under that date and time section if you see where it says set automatically if this section is turned on turn it off so that you are able to change your date manually now click on where it says you know october 30th 2020 and click that date section there and then select a date that is before october 27th now the reason why we want to select the date that is before october 27th is because on the 27th of october apple no longer signed or they discontinued ios 14.0.1 so ios 14.1 has been out for some time it's the current uh version that most people are on so apple discontinued ios 14.0.1 on the 27th of october 2020 and when they removed it from their servers or stopped signing it those people that were on ios 14.2 uh, beta 4 and beta 3 or any version of ios 14 betas they started to experience this bug that you are seeing here so you want to select a date that is before the 27th of october so for the purposes of this video let's select the 26th of october and then once we selected our date we are done so go back you can see that it's no longer showing up this bug even if we lock our device and unlock it you can see that you know the the bug is no longer showing up so this is a quick fix also if you pull down your notification panel this bug was showing up if you would do that but as you can see here this bug is no longer showing up so that is the first way that you can fix this bug and it's quite unfortunate that you have to go back in time because this has actually happened before with ios 12 and people had to do the same thing so it seems that like when apple stops signing the current build of ios that is out 
this is something that you know happening from time to time but this is a quick fix that you can do this method of going back in time has a downside to it and it's because some servers like if you play certain games they do check you know your date and time to see if it's current so some services might not work properly and some websites might not load the correct current data and also just to mention this if ios 14.2 beta 5 or the gm version comes out you might need to set everything back to normal just by turning on the auto you know set time automatically function so that you are able to update without any problem so that's the first method now let's go on to the second method the second method seems to work on different devices i got it to work on a device that is all screen however it did not work on the device that isn't all screen like this iphone 6s so what you want to do you want to go uh, unlock your device and then go to your settings and then go to general and then scroll down to where you have profiles select Select that profile section and then if you are obviously on the iOS 14 beta you have uh, either a public beta profile or a developer beta profile so click on the profile and then click remove profile now if you click this section here that says remove profile and you actually have a passcode you need to put your passcode in order for your device to remove the profile and then after you remove the profile you are going to be prompted with this uh, prompt that says do you want to restart your device now you don't want to do this you want to restart your device manually so just click cancel and then power off your device by you know just pressing the power button if you have a device that is just like this iPhone 6s so just the power button only and your device will be shut off however if you have a device that is you know off screen like this iPhone you want to hold the power button and the volume down button and then you'll be able to manually turn off your device now this worked on the iPhone X that I have here and after restarting my device the prompt or the bug actually didn't show up again but i tried the same thing on the iphone 6s and on most of these iphones here this is the iphone 7 and also another iphone 6s and also an iphone se first generation and it did not work so this second method seems to work on all screen devices so is something that you also want to try if you don't want to set your date and time back now let's go on to the third method if you backed up your device before updating to ios 14.2 beta 4 then you can easily restore your device uh, information and also the version that you were on before you updated so just plug your device in using the cable and then you know if you have a windows laptop just open itunes and then restore from your backup or if you have a mac just connect it to your macbook using the cable again and then open finder and then select restore iphone you'll be able to restore you know a previous version that you were on and also you will actually be able to get rid of this bug now the fourth method has to do with downloading a signed ipsw file so at this time we already know that ios 14.0.1 is no longer being signed so what you want to do is to download you know the current latest signed version of your device that you are using so different devices are going to have you know different versions available to them so go to this website ipsw.me and then select your device you might be prompted as you can see here some devices have gsm or global mode so if you are in the usa download the gsm version of the software that you want to download and if you are anywhere else in the world just download the global version of that particular ios version that you are downloading for your device so once you do this click download and then your ipsw file will begin to download now once it's completed or it's been downloaded what you want to do is to if you have windows you know open itunes and then what you want to do is to go to the backup and restore page on your windows computer and then before you upgrade your device hold shift on windows so if you're on windows hold shift and then click the upgrade option and then a pop-up will show up and from that pop-up screen you'll be able to select your ipsw file 
version that you downloaded so if you select that you'll be able to you know upgrade although it's a downgrade in this case but you know this is how you do it on windows and the same thing on mac you want to open finder and then go to you know the backup and restore tab of your mac and then connect you need to make sure that your device is connected and then also what you want to do is to hold the option or the alt key and click the upgrade tab that you see there on this page now once you click this this screen will also pop up and you'll be able to select the ipsw file that has the ios version that you've downloaded that you want to you know upgrade your device to although it's a downgrade it's going to say that it's an upgrade so that's how you do it using the ipsw file and the last method that you can uh, basically use the fifth method very easy it's just to wait you know patience is key so almost everyone on the ios 14.2 beta they are reporting this bug right so so many people have reported this so it's you know apple is going to release something very soon so if you are patient enough then just you know click dismiss every time the bug shows up it's a, just a minor inconvenience it's not going to break your device or break your device so just be patient and then when the update comes out you'll be able to upgrade either to ios 14.2 beta 5 or the gm version when it comes out and that brings us to the next segment of our video when is ios 14.2 beta 5 or the gm version going to come out so beta 4 has been out for over a week now we are expecting to see you know the gm version this week or beta 5 this week at least but nothing came out this week we only got macOS pixel 11.0.1 .1 beta 1 so if more people report this bug we could almost see an update this week so perhaps later on today or on the weekend which is not something that apple usually does they only do that if there's something major or something that is you know serious that is affecting a lot of users that you know that could potentially break your device so we could see this but this is unusual of apple if nothing comes out this week then we can expect something between the 3rd of november to the 5th of november which is next week so that is when perhaps beta 5 or the developer version of beta 5 or the gm version is expected and if it comes out during this week then we can sort of expect the public beta either the next day or the following week after the iphone 12 mini and iphone 12 pro max become available i hope you like this video just you know a couple of methods that i've tried and tested to see how you can overcome this bug if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe i make more content like this almost every day so if you stick around you will get to see more videos like this and a lot more so stay safe guys and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace